Capricorn. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to start off your reading with an oracle message and then I will get into the photo. Spirit, what is the message for Capricorn? Beauty. Okay, we have growth at the bottom of the deck as well. The number five or the number 20 or the number 25 could be significant for somebody here. Uh, but I do feel like beauty, a lot of you could be focused on your outer beauty right now. Also, I'm getting with that, you could be focusing on just the simple beauties and the simple pleasures um, in life. We do have creation. So a lot of you could be creating right now or using your creative skills for something. Um, they just told me job. This could be connected to a job. Um, that you're wanting or of course this could be a business that you're starting the number 39 could be significant for somebody spirit what is a love message for capricorn okay let me get you two so we have free yourself it's time to take back control of your life okay so some of you could be freeing yourself from a relationship um, or a job situation, we have love yourself first. Okay, so this could be a relationship. Um, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, yeah. A lot of freeing energy here. Capricorn, think of a question. These are just simple answer cards. So, ooh, okay, so think of your question. <laughs> Those two flew out. I can't ignore that. Um, we do have perfect timing. So, something is going to come together in perfect timing. Definitely could be a job. Um, or relationship situation we have within a few months so for those of you that were worried about or wondering about a timing on something spirit what is the answer to capricorn's question okay so yeah something could be developing within the next couple of months for some of you it's going to be what you're creating here damn the messages just want to come out for you today capricorn so we'll get into the tarot and see what your guides have to say okay the answer is yes so for those of you that asked a yes or no question, then the answer is yes. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. There's different reading options for you to choose from. Also, go check out the merch at swordstarotmerch.com. A couple of my favorites are the hoodies and the mug. I think everything on there is super, super cute, so go check it out. Also, don't forget about my lashes at jayslashes.com for you girlies. Do go check it out also on Instagram as well. Also, do be sure to go check out my vlog channel over there. Just share a little bit more of my personal life. And now, let's get back into the video. Okay. So what are the messages for Capricorn? What are the messages for Capricorn? Six of Pentacles. Okay. So uh, working right now, for sure, of course, Capricorn energy. Um, I feel like you're going to be getting good result from something. It could be from whatever you're creating here. We have the Five of Wands of the Chariot. So I see someone here, um, or multiple people, jealous of your success. The Chariot can represent victory moving forward. Um, yeah, somebody, the Five of Wands, this is jealousy, drama, fighting. Hmm. Okay, somebody, this is a very, this is like a side message for somebody, but somebody could be upset like to, to who you're giving your money to or to what you're spending your money on. So we all could be dealing with the Cancer here with the Chariot card. I'm also getting Fire Energy uh, with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. I do see some drama surrounding some money. Maybe you and somebody are fighting about money. Okay, the Two of Pentacles. You could be debating on something like, okay, how do I handle this situation? Hmm. Somebody could be jealous of your gifts as well. Maybe a promotion that you got or that you're getting. Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. I see you celebrating something here. Like good, like this is good news. But somebody is not happy for you. And it feels like they should be. The Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles is a chariot. Like something has gone your way. Like it seems like say if you started a business, oh, you start to get sales, that's great. Um, or you get a promotion or something like that, or, you know, some sort of lump sum comes in. Like the Ace of Pentacles, this could be a lot of things, but I feel like it's related to your money. So good news is coming in as far as your money. Do know that, but somebody may not be happy for you. And that may, that may, so, yep, it may surprise you. The Tower. Scorpio energy, the Tower card. We do have the King of Swords here as well, Aquarian energy. So, yeah, something may surprise you. 
in the king of swords it may surprise you how cold this person is towards it like the king of swords is does not express emotion like so you may be surprised at how cold someone is like oh that's great or oh congrats like what <laughs> like i don't know it kind of seems like that type of energy and i don't see you giving a fuck because this is so exciting for you like this is a really good but it, it may make you give this person the side eye like why are you reacting that way yeah the two of swords you might be like um i don't know how i feel about your reaction Especially if this is a relationship, it's like this is great for both of us. Why are you, why are you acting like this? Why is the Six of Pentacles energy here? Why is the Six of Pentacles energy here? The Fool. Yes, an opportunity is coming in. Then you guys can be dealing with an Aries. Opportunity is coming in here. A really good opportunity. It's almost like. The fool is like a risk. So this is something that is going to completely it possibly change your life, especially with this tower energy. It could be it could change your life, but in a very positive way. Why is the five of wands energy here? You may have to travel for this short term, long term. Either way, you may have to move. Clarifying the five of wands, we have the five of cups and the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone is extremely upset and jealous that you have this new opportunity. It could be a coworker. Three of Pentacles. Let me try to get deeper into the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? It's come out twice already. So, like, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. Somebody, somebody has, like... Maybe they feel like they're still at the bottom. The Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is kind of like the student. Where you start out. Hmm. It's like somebody... The King of Cups in the reverse... This is somebody emotionally unstable. King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Hmm. They don't know how to feel about this, but like they're upset. Why is a chariot card here? I feel like they're just feeling sorry for their self, this person that you're dealing with. Friend, coworker, relationship, whoever. Why is the chariot card here? The King of Swords. Somebody's bitter. The King of Swords came out in the reverse as well bitter why is two of pentacles here i feel like with the two of pentacles and the two of swords you are going to be forced to make a decision after you get this person's reaction you are going to be forced to make a decision because it's going to really make you think why is the two of pentacles energy here Okay. So some of you may be debating, um, should you move on? The Ace of Cups, there could be an opportunity here. We do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So there's going to be new um, work opportunities for some of you, and then there's going to be new love opportunities for some of you. Um, either way, you're going to have to make a decision regarding either two jobs or two relationships. Why is the Ace of Cups energy here? The lovers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Judgment with the lovers. You are debating if you should go for something. The chariot in the reverse. You're debating if you should go for something. Shoot your shot is kind of what I'm getting. You're like, mm, should I? Should I not? Is it a good idea? Would they reject me? Is it a bad idea? Uh, of course, this could be vice versa. Maybe this person is thinking about this with you. Um, Libra, Gemini, Cancer energy here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yes, the Ace of Wands. You got a lot of Aces, a lot of new energy coming in, Capricorn. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, new creative project, new job opportunity, something here. And I feel like this opportunity, you're going to be able to implement um, your creative gifts here as well. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, you'll be getting paid more. That's for sure. Why is the Three of Cups energy here? Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you may be celebrating. I see you celebrating with people. Maybe you have work friends, co-workers, their pinnacles. You're going to be celebrating. And you're going to feel very, very good. The Knight of Pentacles is confident. You're going to feel a lot more confident in your finances and in yourself. Why is the Tower card energy here? 
Queen of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Cups and the Tower. You could definitely be dealing with Scorpio here. The Knight of Cups. So this could be somebody coming in for some of you. The Knight of Cups this is an offer, a proposal. What is the Knight of Cups energy here? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So I see a good offer coming in here. And this may, the Tower, this is a, a shake-up, a surprise. Like, it is something that changes everything. And I feel like it's this offer coming in that's going to change everything for you in a good way. Why is the King of Swords energy here? The star. What is an Aquarius here? The King of Swords with the star. Could be somebody coming towards you. Why is the Two of Swords energy here? Okay, so I'm getting this. I feel like I'm reading for a ton of Capricorns here. So for some of you, you could be currently single. And there could be an opportunity coming in or an opportunity that you want to pursue that you're not sure if you should. Maybe you don't know how this person feels about you. I do feel like there's something here holding you back. The Three of Cups. The Three of Cups keeps coming out. This could be a reconciliation. Wanting to reconcile with somebody here, but also the Three of Cups. I feel like this is celebration. You could be cel you, could, you could be celebrating with an Aquarius here. I just did the Aquarian reading, and they got the Three of Cups as well. You could be celebrating with somebody. For any additional messages for Capricorn. Okay. Queen of Swords, the Six of Cups. Past person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This okay. This could be somebody. Okay. Could be reflecting on your past. For some of you, this is going to be a reconciliation from your past. But for some of you, this is going to be you just kind of reflecting on your past, uh, reflecting on what you've learned, things like that. And that um, that makes sense. We just had a Cancer New Moon, and that will make you kind of reflect, think back what you've learned, how far you've come. Is there any additional messages for Capricorn? Temperance card, the sun. Yeah, you got so much good energy coming. Temperance card, I see healing here. Also, the temperance card is patience. I feel like you guys have been very patient with these opportunities to come in, and now they're coming in now. Um, it could be in Leo season, the sun card here. The eight of wands. Things are going to start moving very quickly for you. It could be getting, be sure you're checking your email with the eight of wands here. Important messages are coming in. Is there any additional messages for Capricorn? Empress and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is a screaming new beginning to me. Also, side note, somebody may find out that they are pregnant or that you're going to be having a baby. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you, the Empress is representing a new beginning, a very abundant new beginning. Um, the Ace of Swords are going to become very clear on what that is very soon. So, we will pull some advice. Spirit, what is the overall advice for Capricorn? The Ten of Wands. Wow. Okay. 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 So I'm getting with this. If there are people and these, it seems like two people here. If there are people causing you drama or just have become a burden in your life, like a burden that you can drop, drop it. Because shit, shit's going to become real overwhelming if it isn't already. For some of you, this is a water sign. For some of you, this is a fire sign. Or both. If you're dealing with both. Um, but something has become too much. Advice is to drop it with this Ten of Wands. Tens are endings. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video.